Yes. Oh, it'll be tough. Um, you know, we talked a little bit about it. It's going to be a hard deal for him, but I think he'll be fine. Um, he may have a couple moments, but he's had them without being home where he does some things like, oh my gosh, what did you just do? So I don't think it's going to affect him. I just told him you got to keep your head focused on our team, but it's hard. It'll be a hard deal for him. How is he doing with those, oh my gosh, what did you just He's, do? He did still has a couple of game. It's just like, you just shot with three guys on you and two guys wide open. What were you thinking? Or why did you leave your feet spin in the air and shoot a left-handed hook? Why'd you do that? <laughs> he, I don't know. I said, ah, okay. He's, he's trying. Now, there's a lot of teams in this league where there's a big discrepancy between how they play at home and how they play on the road, but nobody really is bigger than them, 16 and 1 versus 1 and 10. What's, what makes them so much better at home? Well, the, you, you have a lot of teams, and we were there a couple years ago. I mean, it was hard for us on the road. We were young, and it wasn't what we were playing that bad. We couldn't finish off games. And I think in their case, there's a lot of that. Like, um, if you watch a bunch of those games, they had their chances to win. And then all of a sudden, you know, a minute to go, somebody makes a shot, they don't. Um, they may be more comfortable at home. I don't know. I mean, um, but there happens to a lot of teams, not just them. Cal Ryan said he feels like this team made a breakthrough. But this is a, a group, and he as an individual, that sort of seemed like it. they broke through other points this season and, and dipped back down. Do you have reason to believe that this is a, a bona fide breakthrough for this group? You just got to keep playing each game. You know, I. I know this game will be very physical, hand hand to hand combat, and it's something that we haven't played through well. And this will be okay. The next elevation and or the next the evolution of this team is when the stuff gets rough, and it's body to body. Can you play? And that's we'll be able to see. John, how much different is this team than it was two weeks ago, mentally, emotionally? Well, we won some games, so they're better. But again, you got to get hit in the mouth a little bit, and then see how guys respond. That's why you, you play these kind of games. And we got, you know, it's a tough, tough challenge for us, you know, going in there. How much is it on your guards to, to play well against that kind of pressure? Our guards, it's, it doesn't matter who we play. I mean, in, in college basketball, guard play probably dictates where your team is going. So, you know, our guards have played better. We have played better. This, is, this will be a, an environment where they'll, you know, be able to see what they're, uh, what they're about. Handle full court pressure reasonably well. Will, will they do a lot of it? You expect? Yeah, yeah. They, they, again, they get up in you and they're, you know, they'll run at you and they'll trap it different. They're more, um, I want to say, I don't want to use the term helter skelter, but they don't. There's no rhyme or reason sometimes why they're trapping or why they're switching or what they're doing. Um, it's trying to speed up the game and trying to be aggressive. So, you, you, you got to play with instincts more and historically our teams have been fine doing that we'll see in this environment um, how we do julia said that the new open offense was uh, in large part that until grind it out time comes that you know you sort of give the guards more freedom to make plays how, how, how accurate that that's be? true and try to put more on their shoulders what you don't want is you don't want any excuses no cop outs now, what do you say now? You just you got to have those guys take responsibility. Then the other side of it is, is have the team hold each other accountable, which is beginning to happen. So it's not just what's happening on offense. It's what's happening on defense. And it's guys holding each other accountable instead of looking for every excuse they can use why they're not playing well. And. Um, you know, that's part of the growth of a team. That's part of the maturity of a basketball team, especially a young team like ours. Are you surprised that Julius has kind of turned into the go-to guy on offense? No, because he has the – he's not afraid to miss tough shots, the game crunch shots. He's not afraid to miss them, and that's how you have to be able to play. Um, and he's made a bunch of them. He's really helped us. And like I said, we're going – our team's playing better. We're now going on the road in a, in a, in a hostile environment, um, and this will be the next test for us. Where are we? Where, how far have we come? All right. How far along, oh, Go ahead. How, how far along do you think you guys are in, in dealing with Neuralance's absence and processing it and setting it aside? I, I think we're 
we're good right now because everybody, you start focusing on the guys you have as a coach and as players. We're just trying to say, hey, let's get in here and help each other. So I think we're in good shape there. All right.